Mon dieu, mes amis! We interrupt the MCM coverage, coverage for some flicks and fig news. So the his tank has shown up in France. It looks like the US may not be far behind in the UK as well. And we had at uh, uh, the Italian Comic Con a reveal of Marvel Legends Alandra. So let's talk about all that on Tac Tac Toys with Film. So yeah, welcome back to Tac Tac Toys with Film, your home of 112 scale movie based action figures, GI Joe classified, Valorous Action Force, Operation Monster Force, and more! This video is not for kids, so yeah. Yakety yak, his tac tac. So yeah, as I say, the his tank has shown up in France. Um, I've actually received since making this video, I've received a, a email notification. So I think in the UK here, we're probably going to get it end of November, beginning of December. I've got absolutely nowhere to put this this mon this monster of a vehicle, but I'll work that out at the time of the of it arriving. Have you ordered one? Have you sort of um, pre-ordered a his tank? Are you a GI Joe classified collector? Let, have you ordered more than one? Let me know in the comments below. But I saw this MCM Comic Con. I do have some more coverage of MCM Comic Con, by the way, um, which I'll upload to the channel, but just taking a quick break to put this video in between those videos. But yeah, I did see the His Tank and all the sort of the His Tank crew and the Cobra Commander on the retro card at MCM London, and my God, it does look absolutely enormous. Um, yeah, that's what she said, and it, yeah, it's absolutely going to be a centerpiece of the collection here you can see they've got the light up features for the cobra symbol but yeah um <clears throat> this is going to be an absolute beast and many thanks to the um the uh collector in france who actually um yeah, uploaded these photos to instagram so yeah looking really good i'll try and put a link in the comments below for their instagram page but really really good looking for a vehicle and of course we're going to get plenty more vehicles now we've got the dragonfly which is also uh, on show at mcm comic-con that's coming the year after so in 2024 and the vamp of course um which you can actually get on hasbro pulse now so yeah it looks like gi joe classified have got some vehicles in the works that's rather exciting and it looks like the um fire team uh, 788 i think they're called but fire, basically the the crew that goes along with the his tank are um, going to be available soon. And talking of vehicles, Ramen Toys have got the canopy and guns add-on for them uh, for the 1989 McFarlane Batmobile. So this is an additional set that um, Ramen Toys are making. They've obviously made the canopy in the black colour because the initial um, Batmobile came in a, with a grey canopy. I didn't. It didn't bother me so much myself. I wasn't that bothered by it. But I know if you sort of want something more authentic looking to the movie, you know. Ramen Toys have got you covered. So yeah, here's a look with their canopy and guns sort of add-on set on the on the vehicle, just as a finishing touch on your display piece. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm guessing this will work with either um, the vehicle, the Batman, the Batmobile that comes with the Batman, or the one that came before that uh, sort of separately. And speaking of Batman, um, Muff Toys, brilliant name, have got the Kryptonite Seeker, 112 Kryptonite Seeker, up for pre-order. Uh, it does sound like something that'll be at Ann Summers or something like that, but you know, no, it's an action figure. It's not a sort of adult toy, so to speak. Um, I guess it is an adult, adult toy in one sense, but yeah. Anyway, this is the Nightmare Batman from the Batman v Superman film, where there was that sort of future sequence that was kind of supposed to show that Superman is a threat, you know, in the future, or God knows what was happening. I don't even know what was happening in that Snyder, Zack Snyder film, but um, yeah, if you're a Zack Snyder fan, apologies, you know. Um, yeah, it wasn't, it sort of was a bit all over the place really, but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. But uh, Muff Toys have us covered if you want a Kryptonite Seeker in your collection. There is of course that Mezco 112 version. I have that myself uh, in my collection. That's quite a good figure, but obviously a bit, probably a bit hard to come by now. So this makes for a good alternative. Bit of a post-apocalyptic Batman. Batman. And there is another company, I did do a previous video, there is another company making a Joker figure. So you can get that to go alongside this and then talking to batman both queen studio in art and infinity studio who normally make statues we'll be making some dc figures and looking at this sort of pro promo image here you can see they make the queen studio making some christian bale figures they're going to be 112 scale or six inch they'll probably be quite expensive but yeah they make great statues so here's something to look at as an alternative in terms of more 112 scale figures coming and if you want a place to store them or do some toy photography back to ramen toys you can have a look at the musk here it is it's the mobile unit you know 
sewer s command center or whatever whatever the, it stands for, I can't remember. But essentially, it's basically a playset for or a diorama for you to take photos of any of your figures, you know, turtle inspired or otherwise, reptilian inspired or otherwise. So you've got street scene level, you've got the under levels which lead to the sewer. You can buy them in sort of separate pieces, so obviously that will, you know, the cost will vary depending on if you want the whole set or bits and pieces of the set it's really up to you it does look great though so as you can see the sewer section there on its own is hundred dollars which is actually quite reasonable if you think about it for a 112 scale or 110 scale diorama that's probably a pretty good price price really sorry but again you can just pick the street scene if you want you can get just the sewer if you want you can get both so you can have all sorts of action to do for toy photography with or even just having your display you know um yeah so Lots of different options to choose from. And I think this is a pretty decent package. I mean, ne NECA have given us that street scene previously, but we don't really have too many dioramas in 112 scale. So ramen toys are sort of like, you know, um, giving us an option there. And obviously they're bringing vehicles as well, the bread van coming soon. So we're getting plenty of options. And moving over to Marvel, mission report. We get some better looks at um, the Reveltech Winter Soldier in all sorts of dynamic poses. So yeah, I don't know if you're a fan of Reveltech or not. Obviously, articulation scheme um, gives them some great posing. The, yeah, you can see sort of the, the joints, which can annoy some collectors. I've got the uh, Spider-Man 2.0 version. It does articulate extremely well. Um, but yeah, not sure if maybe Winter Soldier is a character that may need this level of articulation. Don't know, you let you decide that. I'm guessing it's sort of an MCU um, based version of Winter Soldier, the way he's catching the shield there. It does sort of look like the MCU version of Winter Soldier. They've got quite, an he's got quite anime, anime faces, as you can see here, which you may or may not be a fan of. So a few different expressions. But yeah, it's kind of a bit an anime style. So again, don't know if that sits well with you as a collector. Um, obviously, if you've got other Revil Tech figures, he'll fit in great with those amazing Amaguchi figures. Um, probably maybe a little short for Marvel Legends. You may scale with Marvel Legends, but maybe a little bit short. But again, if you want some, see that that looks quite good. The the masked face, I think. But if you want some dynamic posing, then this is your one of your options. And sticking with the military theme. Um, Junk, Mutton Junkyard and Metalhead have gone up for pre-order now. They did; they were, of course, shown in their boxes at MCM London. And you can check out my video on on MCM London and the GI Joe Classified reveals, and that I'll put a link for that in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this video, feel free to smash the like button, comment on sort of anything you've seen already that you might look like look of, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. And sort of moving over to Marvel again, I think this is Lucha Comic Con, it's called, which is in Italy. There is a reveal of Landra, so space themed character. And yeah, sort of, um, that's that's pretty good. You know, we get a, a sort of um, a new Marvel Legends. And sticking with space, we've got a Dragon Ball Z character here. I think he's called Kiwi or something like that. But um, yeah, here's some promo images of one of the Freezer Force members. Uh, Kui, I think he's called. I'm not I'm not totally sure, but loads of animated expressions as you can see here. So, <coughs> excuse me, he'll go great with some of your other Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts figures. And yeah, really, you've got to give it to, to SH Figure Arts. They definitely give some expressive faces, which are great for toy photography. So yeah, if you're building out a Freezer Force, then here you go. And sticking with the space theme and SH Figure Arts in particular, a new Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul have been revealed and they look really good so if, you, if you've missed out on previous um, Darth Maul from F SH Figure Arts you're going to get an opportunity to get a second one SH Figure Arts always do a bang up job with their Star Wars fingers, figures you know it's a great option as an alternative to Black Series plenty of had new hands diff different sets of hands you know accessories things like that and the, the likenesses are pretty decent I think you know Darth Maul looks pretty good I think Qui-Gon looks really good there with his pancho, poncho on um, but yeah as I say, if you want an alternative to the Black Series, it's a little bit more expensive. You can't really go wrong here. And it's a great representation of Episode 1 figures. Obviously, at the Black Series at MCM London, we got to see Young Anakin and Padme in, from Episode 1. And now we're getting to see, in SX Figure Arts, we're getting to see Darth Maul and Qui-Gon. So if you are a fan of the prequels, you know, if you grew up with the prequels or... Yeah, you want to recreate the prequels in action figure form, you're going to get a great opportunity here. As I say, the Black Series is a good option, but if you want sort of more accessories, more options, and you're okay with paying the high, slightly higher price point, then SH Figure Arts is the way to go. I think for me personally, 
out of the two. Darth Maul is probably the one I, I'd pick up out of the two. I do like the Black Series one, but I think the face sculpt on the SH Figure Arts one just looks so much, you know, more movie accurate. Just like it does look a little representation of the character. Having said that, Qui Gon looks excellent as well. I, I'm just not a completist with with the uh, Star Wars Episode One. You know, I cherry pick them here and there. And Star Wars in general, I cherry pick here and there. So I mean, but if you do, if you are a completist, this is a great option. You can even see Qui Gon comes with a hologram of that little ship they had, um, which is another great little touch. Again, it's these little things with SH Figure Arts that make you know the finishing touches for your t photography or display options these little touches that really you know finish things off and like i said you know uh, the black si with regard episode one black series young anakin and padme revealed at mcm london that video is up on my channel as well so again i'll put a link to that video in the comments below and sticking with a sort of martial arts theme, we're going from space with Star Wars to Ninja Scroll, anime Ninja Scroll. And the Fush is giving us a look at Kagero, I believe is the name of the character. So this is another character to go with Jubei from Ninja Scroll. And yeah, again, another human character. I mean, I think it's going to be really exciting when we get to the sort of more monstrous characters from Ninja Scroll. But again, if you want to build out your Ninja Scroll collection, Fush have you covered. And on that sort of theme, Burning Souls, they're giving us a 112th line of sort of fantasy sort of samurai type characters. I know there's a big character with a minigun in samurai armor. That's exciting to see. So look out for those Burning Souls 112th scale figures. And if you're looking for some great places to pick up action figures, you can, of course, check out Comics and Cocktails. And why not check out In Demand Toys, both Comics and Cocktails and In Demand Toys were at MCM London. I managed to film with Comics and Cocktails. That video's up on my channel. Didn't manage to film with um, In Demand Toys, but I think at the next MCM in 2024, or maybe at Comic-Con before that, I'll try and get some coverage with them. You can, of course, check out Kapow Toys. Feel free to check out Star Action Figures. You can check out the whole shebang. And why not check out Invincible Toys and their Futuristic Combat Soldiers? And I'll put a link to that at the Big Bad Toy Store in the comments below. And there'll be links to all these independent UK retailers in the comments below. You can, of course, check out Action Force, Valiverse, and their Action Force. And they've got um, Warp Out Path Eclipse up on the site. If you fancy picking her up, you can, of course, check out all the cool stuff. And feel free to check out Gobsmack Comics. And you can check out the three POA podcast. Put that in the wrong place, but check it out anyway. And talking of um, sort of monstrous type things, I know I mentioned it with uh, um, Ninja Scroll and how they're monstrous char characters. Loose Collectors showed off a few up sort of promo images of upcoming figures he's got. Here's a Frankenstein monster, and of course, he's got some werewolves coming up, and those werewolves look absolutely enormous. They're absolutely towering over McFarlane figures, as you can see here. That's the McFarlane Man Bat. And a few other correct characters and they're, and he, they're the same size as their Mr. Hyde so you can really see how big these werewolf figures are so we'll lose collectors sort of delving into the realms of monsters a bit more which is exciting so yeah keep an eye on you know what he'll be re what he'll be releasing and for all the latest Marvel Legends news reviews and live streams check out Dan Who Reviews co-host Rich M Turtles and Tea with Tanner and you can check out Joe's and Juice with Dan Mini Plastic Multiverse and Tom myself uh, Tom and myself uh, talking all the latest G.I. Joe classified sort of news, reviews and, and more. Follow us Action Force, of course, and any Operation Monster Force tidbits we might find. And we have got one overdue because we were going to do one at MCM, but obviously Emily hurt her foot. You can also check out Jay's Toy Collection UK for action figure reviews in the UK. Like I say, he was with me at MCM Comic Con. He's got up a Star Wars interview with uh, Jin and also an interview with Ryan Ting from Marvel Legends and check out both those on his channel. You can check out Miguel and the Wolfpack Toy Review, who does toy pickups in the sort of California area. He's done a few G.I. Joe classified reviews on his channel. And yeah, feel free to check out his, um, his YouTube channel. You can, of course, check out AC Toy Design and feel free to check out Dante and the Infinity Equation. And you can check out Agent Z-Man. Agent Z-Man was with me at uh, MCM London Comic Con, so I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the comments below. And you can check out Why So Serious Toys. And feel free to check out Austin, the hero of collectors. And for action figure reviews in Ireland, you can check out Brian's action figure reviews. And yeah, like I said, links for all these YouTube channels will be in the comments below. You can check out Big Will, Pixels and Plastic. And yeah, you can check out Elson Official Music for all the latest pop music covers. And again, I'll put links for all these YouTube channels in the comments below. And you can check out for all things Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions and more. You can check out Trevor the 1-6 Shooter. And... 
feel free to check out Photo Dave and Toy Picks for any toy photography tips and tricks. And yeah, you can check out also, uh, what else have we got? Cypher Sigma for all the latest film reviews and toy pickups. And yeah, as I say, all these YouTube channels will be in the comments below. And if you like Film and TV, you can check out Film and TV Review, their YouTube channel. I believe their website's going under reconstruction at the minute, but I'll put a link to their YouTube channel in the comments below. So again, thanks for watching this episode of the Flicks and Thig Figs. Hope you found something you liked in here. Until next time, just make sure that you enjoy those Flicks and Figs.